Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Miss America contestants attack Trump and USA to try to win. Realize unfortunate mistake too late. It seems the propriety of NFL players kneeling in protest during the national anthem is a running theme one cannot escape even during a beauty pageant as contestants in the Miss America competition recently discovered. Miss Virginia Mealy McPhail was asked what advice she would give to players about whether to stand or to continue to kneel during the national anthem in protest. The 22-year-old went with the politically correct safe answer in the onstage question. McPhail said that the players have every right to kneel, replying that not standing during the anthem is a right you have but it's also not about kneeling. She also said they should be acknowledged not for protesting the anthem, but for protesting police brutality. She is a graduate of Hollins University, where she studied communications. Fox News reports some NFL players have said they take a knee during the playing of the anthem to protest police brutality and social injustice. The protest has deeply divided the country, with some calling it disrespectful to the American flag and the military. President Trump has repeatedly criticized the NFL and the players over their actions. After the competition, McPhail was asked by reporters if she was concerned that her answer would alienate those with opposing views. You're entitled to your own opinion, but I stood up for what I believed was right, McPhail said. The protest was started by former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, sparking a wave of backlash and support. Kaepernick, who is not signed by a team, was recently announced as the newest face of Nike's Just Do It campaign. The third and final preliminaries of the beauty pageant will be held Friday and the next Miss America will be crowned Sunday in Atlantic City. McPhail won $1,000 for the onstage question portion of the competition for her prompt choice of answer regarding the NFL players and her opinion regarding their ability to decide to kneel or not to kneel during the national anthem. And naturally, the pageant turned political turning to the topic of President Donald Trump. A contestant in the Miss America pageant was asked an onstage question on Friday evening regarding what she felt the most serious issue facing the nation was. Madeline Collins Mississippi West Virginia, replied Donald Trump is the biggest issue our country faces. Unfortunately, he has caused a lot of division in our country. She said it is important to let people in other nations know that, we as Americans are supporting them and that we are there to help them. The Daily Journal Online noted the interview responses were limited to 20 seconds and Collins did not go into additional detail. The Miss America organization rejected a request from the Associated Press to make Collins available for an interview after Friday night's competition had ended. She did not win the interview contest. That honor went to Miss Massachusetts Gabriela Tavares, whose question dealt with how Americans traveling abroad should interact with people in other countries. This year's Miss America pageant has been full of its fair share of drama as lawsuits, rumors of bullyings, and the controversial elimination of the swimsuit competition from the competition have taken a toll. The Richmond Dispatch Times reports, in the talent competition, Miss Louisiana Holly Conway won for a vocal performance, singing I Believe. It is something that would push me through when I had bad days, she said. The second night of preliminary competition happened hours after signs appeared around Atlantic City on Thursday criticizing Gretchen Carlson, the chairwoman of the Miss America organization, as so fake and a bully. Hung from traffic lights and glued to a utility box, signs appeared Thursday morning. They turned up at bus stops, as well. No one had taken responsibility for putting them up. They referenced claims from the outgoing Miss America, Karen Mund, who said that Carlson and CEO Regina Hopper bullied and silenced her during her reign which ends Sunday. Carlson, the former Fox News host, and a former Miss America, said she had no comment. Both she and Hopper have repeatedly denied bullying Wind. The signs appear to parody Carlson's book Be Fierce. They include the same photo of her that appears on her book cover, but with the words so fake and private bully, public liar. In addition, someone hung a pageant sash on the Miss America statue just outside Boardwalk Hall, where the competition takes place, that reads Gretchen sucks. This year's pageant is taking place amid a revolt by state organizations, most of which want Carlson and Hopper to resign. 46 of the 51 groups, the District of Columbia is included, have signed letters seeking their resignation. They are unhappy with the way the decision to eliminate the swimsuit competition from the pageant was reached, among other issues. Contestants from Florida and Wisconsin picked up wins Wednesday in the first night of preliminary competition. Miss Florida Taylor Tyson won the talent competition for a piano rendition of Mephisto's Waltz by List. Miss Wisconsin Tiana Vander Hay won the on-stage interview competition for her comments on how higher education should be more affordable and more widely accessible. 
scholarships totaling nearly $506,000 will be awarded, including $50,000 for the new Miss America, $25,000 for the first runner-up, $20,000 for the second runner-up, $15,000 for the third runner-up, and $10,000 for the fourth runner-up. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.